All right, a little bit of an intro after the day of fishing. So we are out today throwing some shiver minnows, and if you've never done that before, it is an absolute blast. So watch this video if you wanna learn some tips and tricks, or just learn a little bit more if this is a style of fishing that you're used to, and hopefully put some more fish in the boat. We're also gonna do one more thing. Now I said I'd never do this. I would never buy people's love on YouTube. However, I do believe in the content, and I think you're gonna like it. So what we're gonna do, because we're nearing that 1,000 sub mark, if you are subscribed to this channel and you comment on this video, once it reaches 1,000 views, we will randomly select a winner of four shiver minnows. So if you know what these baits are, or if you have any interest in using them, they're a little bit expensive. So our gift back to you, the loyal subscribers, comment, subscribe, and you could win. How do you do that? You got weights and stuff? Yeah. Fish on? Atta boy. You're on camera here. Well, this one's facing the other way, I see. Oh man, what is that's a that's a eyeball? Man, he looked he looked wide. Oh yeah, good one. And a boy. That's a good one. That one is probably picture time. You gonna keep that one? Let me bring it in. You throw a shiver minnow right there. That's a good one. That is a fat, healthy, beautiful fish. He popped it too. We were bouncing around a little bit to try to get on him this morning, but pinned it right to the bottom. Shiver minnowing. There is nothing like it. You control, but hand-to-hand -hand combat. A lot of water on that screen. Well, you come out to the bay right here. Big old fat female fish. We're gonna let this one go. We've got plenty to eat. Nothing like shiver minnows. All right, let's get into the tackle portion of this video. First thing, I am using the shiver minnow. It's a one ounce version in JJ McMuffin, which is my absolute favorite color out here on the bay. The rod I'm using is a bass mojo rod. As I said before, this technique is just like bass fishing for walleyes. It's a six foot eight medium action, extra fast tip. That medium action is super important to get that bait to respond the way that you want it to with every snap that you make. Pair that with a braid of your choice. I'm using suffix 832 attached to our fluorocarbon leader. You don't wanna use mono for this technique and you don't wanna use a soft rod. You're gonna get kind of a lazy snap and a lazy retrieve. This medium action along with the braided line gets that bait to snap quickly for those fish to respond to it. In terms of the reel, you want something that kind of retrieves pretty quickly because when you set the hook on these fish, a lot of times they'll run towards you. So you wanna take up that slack line rather quick. All right, we got a couple more minutes of fishing before we get out of here and let's see if we can't put a couple more fish in the boat. Exciting if you're a soccer person. The Euro club teams that are and then exhibition or something. And then what happened? Fish? Yep. How's it feel? Feels, feels good. Feels like a walleye. You ready? 
Huh? It feels like a walleye? Yeah. Oh. That's why we're here. Feels like a nice walleye too. Yeah. Huh? yeah. It's not fighting like a sheep. It's fighting like the last one. Staying down like a walleye. I saw it, but I couldn't tell. Well, what? Nice eater. Spit the bit, too. Spit it? Okay, pressure starts to drop. And... Yep. Nice keeper walleye here on the shiver minnow. The downfall of the shiver minnow is when they come down and pin it and you're going to snap that bait again. Sometimes you'll get them underneath the chin. This one seems to have got it maybe a little bit in the gills, but we're gonna take a moment and eat him. Hopefully he survives the day and he's tasty. Yeah, done. Yeah, done good boy. Howdy. All right, sun's going down, it's getting late here. The wind has finally died down. So I'm gonna show you how I utilize the shiver minnow. Now, I'm by no means an expert, but I do put a lot of fish in the boat utilizing this technique. As you watch me, you might think it's a little bit aggressive. Now, like I said before, this is like bass fishing for walleye. That snap jigging is a reaction bite. 90% of the fish that I clean out here don't have anything in them. So a lot of times I think they're just responding to that snap of the bait. Now, we already talked about the tackle on this. And these are the one ounce baits. You cast these things a mile. I suggest if you're a beginner, try to find that bottom immediately. Now you gotta be careful out here on the bay. You'll get into those zebra mussels and they will clamp right down onto it. So you're not dragging this bait across the bottom. You're trying to skip it, let it flutter back right across the bottom. So I'm on the bottom right now. And when I snap jig, I'm never gonna drop my rod below horizontal, maybe just a little bit. But that first part of the snap is actually on slack line, especially when I'm retrieving it, because I want that bait to snap and then fall back for that fish to be able to come in and pin it to the bottom. So I'm on the bottom there, snap jig, and drop that rod. Let that slack line kind of follow back. And when the fish strikes, it's gonna be when you go to snap jig it again. So it kind of leads to that double hook set, if you will leads to a lot of bad hook sets so you'll lose fish with this you got to be johnny on the spot with the net but it's a great way to get fish to react to any type of bait like i said it's almost like like bass fishing snap let it fall back snap my bait is contacting pretty much right up here that first 45 degrees is just slack line taking that up creating that erratic action sometimes will work like a double pump with this. You can use different style baits with this too. Well, maybe not different styles, but you can use the jig and wrap, uh, Tika minnow. Those are more maybe prone for your sharp shooting where it's a little bit of a dartier action. But I've had people in the boat with me doing the same technique, catching them on those baits as well. So the sun has just went down. Let's see if we can't put a couple more fish in the boat. when you're on this big water like this yeah. to sit in one spot and but you do it casting too yeah, yeah. be the right species Got a soundtrack in the background. <laughs> These guys, yeah. <laughs> Shiver minnows. <laughs> Shiver minnows. Where are you? I think it's a lie. It's all a little color. I think it's a 
walleye. You said we were gonna catch the walleye. It just feels just like at the glare right like in my one. face. How did I not see a fish? <laughs> got the glare right on me. It's a walleye. Nice walleye. Right? Where is he? In the net. I had to avoid my. Hey, put in your vice. <laughs> Man, when it gets close to the boat like that, you panic. Because you feel like they're going to come off all the time. See, they came off right on the net. Shiver me timbers. All right. That's not gonna pick up my audio, though, right? Or yours, whatever. Yeah. Then it just. All right, here you go, shiver minnowing. We've got some big storms moving in tonight. I know Darren is super excited about that. But the pressure is dropping and we're hoping that is what's gonna turn them on. It All right, everybody, that is it. If you liked the video, again, please comment, subscribe. You could win those shiver minnows. You'd be helping us out a ton as we approach that 1,000 sub mark. We really appreciate the support and we'll see you next time.